This is Dr. Wurzberger. Before we look at some video of arthroscopic surgery, I wanted to give you a perspective of what we would be looking at. In arthroscopy, we see the leaf and not the tree and not the forest. If you look at this picture of a knee joint with the kneecap removed, you can see the end of the femur, the upper end of the tibia, the cartilages in between the bones, and two ligaments crossing in the middle. That's fairly recognizable even if you're not experienced in medicine. This is something that it gives a perspective as to what you're looking at. If we were to look at this skeleton with the knee bent over the table and two black dots where the anterior cruciate ligament attaches on the femur and in the tibia, that too gives a good perspective of what we're looking at. Even if you're not experienced in medicine or knee problems, you have a feel for that. Out of the blue, if we showed you this picture, you'd probably have trouble recognizing what you're looking at. These are the two black dots where the anterior cruciate attached, but we've come up so close on it that you don't have a perspective. And that's what I mean, you're looking at the leaf and not the forest. Keep that in mind while watching the video. Before we go into some shoulder surgery, I want to give you some shoulder anatomy and an arthroscopic perspective. With the arthroscope, this is greatly magnified and you see the leaf, not the forest. This shoulder model is not the greatest, but I'm pointing at the coracochromial ligament here, then the biceps tendon that runs down through the front of the shoulder, and here I touch then the rotator cuff on the top of the shoulder. Then we point to the under surface of the acromion where you can get bone spurs and what's called impingement. Now when, when we look in with an arthroscope, the perspective is totally thrown off because it's magnified so many times. So in the back of the shoulder where we put the arthroscope, I'm going to give you a perspective of this and what this will be like when you see this video. So here's our arthroscope and we would stick this in the back of the shoulder through this muscle interval. Now here I'm going to bring the arthroscope towards the model and we're going to now show you what the perspective would be uh, if we were doing the actual surgery. Now we're inserting the arthroscope into the shoulder and as you can see when you come up on something like this you're totally thrown off and your perspective is a little bit different. Seeing the leaf and not the forest. This is the exact view that we had just a moment ago on the model. The structure rotating at the bottom of the screen is the rotator cuff as we rotate the shoulder. The structure straight ahead, the white structure, is the coracochromial ligament, which is on the under surface of the acromion. The rotator cuff, as you can see, is in contact with this and is being impinged by it. So what we want to do is remove that ligament and then burr the under surface of the acromion to remove the spur. So if we can show that here now on the video again, the rotator cuff moving beneath, we'll take an electrocautery and remove very sharply the ligament from the under edge of the acromion. This will remove the ligament very cleanly We'll then remove the bone spur right here and then we get a situation where now we will have increased room for the rotator cuff to run. The bone is the orangish material at the very top and you'll see when the video starts again that there is more space between the rotator cuff and the top roof. This then will relieve the pain of impingement. 